Uh, welcome to GDPG. <laughs> uh, hey, welcome. Uh, uh, GDPG. So what everybody missed in between scenes was uh, Tony or Geek Arius getting immensely frustrated at that jump zone. It was worth it for me. Yeah, for you, you <laughs> ass. ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing. Fortunately, that little timing jump section, I think, is really the only tough part of this In level. In this level. Oh. It definitely comes back. There are levels that are totally re that totally revolve around that mechanic. Yeah, I love this. This is badass. I didn't want to go this way, but that's okay. Well, at least you can get some of these gems. Yeah. Although I missed, like, somehow I jumped over, like, all of them. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that, but I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, you, uh, you got the force field. You gotta go to the left. Oh my god, where are all the- Left. Left. Where are you going? No, I'll go right. Just, There's uh, nothing over there. Yeah, no, watch, Chris, don't worry. <laughs> I tried to tell you. I did it, I, I know, I know. <laughs> Just... <laughs> So there's so many little, like, robots in the environment. Like, see that little, like, buzzy bee kind of bot? And every now and then we see, like, almost a beholder kind of, like, orb floating around in the background. Yeah, right. I really wish we could interact with them on some level. Oh, I got the key already. I don't know what we would want to do other than, like, dialogue, Dials. but, like... Oh, do I have to I go know. back again? Yeah, but well, you I got the do. key. I got the key, which is important. Well, yeah, it ain't all bad. You're not gonna... Yeah. not gonna... Well, actually, oh, okay, yeah. If you just ride that that blue one, then you can that, get onto that platform. Yeah, I can j jump onto that front platform. Yeah, but... that makes sense. What? Well, yeah, because I can't do it for me. What am I trying to do, Chris? I'm just trying to make the impossible happen. You're being a Tony. Wow, that's really hurtful. It's however you take it, I guess. So. Uh... I, I mean, true. I guess it just means I have the problem. <laughs> <laughs> This is a mechanic that comes back, and I, yes, it does. It's yeah. a very cool com com mechanic. It's it's one of those. I, I like it a lot actually because it's one of those Ooh, things that. Am I alive? Sorry, I just see these. That's that's like, yeah, it, the it gets maker deep perhaps and he's never coming back. In a way, it's kind of like the conversations we have today as a society. You know. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, they're more in a position where, like, they've seen something horrifying happen to the world. Yes. Or they're programmed to think this way. We're still kind of unknown, in, or left unknown to that, right? Like We kind of are, you know, and that's what makes it so interesting, you know? You don't... Is there anything worthwhile here? Yeah, probably. Maybe? No? Maybe All right. Just... Oh, that. It'd be really... Really awful if it was just like, nah, you just wasted a key. Yeah, there's just a key. Sucks to suck, I guess. Hey, there's you wasting a key. Uh, Ooh, there's a lot of stuff over we here. Become, we we are we are corrupted. Becoming corrupted. Oh Everything will. Blah, 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 blah. Can I actually reach there? Oh, I think so. Keep going to the right. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I guess I am. Duh. So, okay, here's, uh, here's sort of a. a more general question to you. What do yeah. You, what do you think about the layering mechanics, like jumping back and forth between the three layers? I think it's a lot of fun. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure why they chose to do it. If I'm being a hundred percent honest. So okay, then then the follow up question is: if they didn't have the layering system in this game, oh, this this is one of those ones where you can just like skip past the gate. If you were to jump to the right, oh, maybe not because there's. No, Two layers. Yeah, never mind. Um, but anyway, if say there were no layers to this game, do you think it would feel at all unique? No, it wouldn't. I think that's the problem. I think it would just feel like another platformer. Mm -hmm. um, outside of the story being super interesting, which, I mean, it's kind of that weird existential, what are we and where are we going? Um, I think that... Oh, thank God. That gives it a level of uniqueness. Did I miss all those? Yep. <laughs> that's the thing, I couldn't, I couldn't see. Yeah, and that's one thing I do have some issues with the transparency in this game is that um, sometimes you just don't get enough information. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of wish there was a way to kind of like there we go. make a layer go transparent. I know that would be kind of a nightmare to set up on the control scheme. Um, yeah. Do I, do I should I open up another door or should we just go back and actually yeah, let's the portal? Yeah, let's see what's past yeah, that red door. Since Why not? Red door... 
I, we're probably going to come back here at some point oh, anyway. Oh, I can't. I don't have red keys. Oh, well. No. So answer that question. That's another. Tony answers his own question by just playing. <laughs> mm, I have to go back, back. Oh, yeah. Fine. So, I guess, what is it about the layering that you don't care for? Well, no, it's not that I don't care for it. That's not my problem. I just, um, I don't know why specifically they chose to do layering. I mean, maybe, okay, let's, let's take a leap and assume that the game was actually inspired by Fez. And, yes, and, then that makes sense. I mean... Well, so, okay, so with that in mind, um, obviously it would be kind of cruddy if they had just taken the, that 3D rotating mechanic. Right. Um, so in a way, like, maybe the layering was kind of a way to kind of have a similar structure for puzzles and present mm. it in a very different way. Yeah. I like that. I think it's a lot of fun. I, I The one time I get annoyed with it is when I can't accomplish something, right? Right. This is where I got stuck. The mannequin tribe. Oh, uh, okay. So this, this, folks, might be the point where I could take over. We'll see, though. We'll we'll see how frustrated you get. <laughs> this took me a while. I'm already getting, like, uh, some PTSD thinking about this level. Yeah, I think I remember this level, too. I was so... I love these so little guys, annoyed. though. Oh, yeah, they're so cool. Are they wearing the masks? The maker wears one of us, but I think he died in the calamity. Yeah, they're wearing, like... They're, like, wearing tribal masks. Tribal masks. It's kind of interesting. It, it is really interesting because they're... Like, they're robots, right? But yet they seem to think similar to humans, and yet they're wearing tribal masks. Is it, like, them trying to be right? more human? Or is it them, like, kind of regressing to a more primitive... I don't know if primitive is the right word, but an older culture. Yes, I think there is a level of that that's happening. Yeah, I, I thought that that this level in particular did some really interesting things. No, this level's really cool until you get to the sky part. Right, and that's where it becomes a, a nightmare for the player. And I feel like that's when the game really becomes the game, and that just proves that I can't play this game well. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Um, one thing quick on, on the layering before we, yes, we move yeah, totally no, beyond please. that. I do want to say, though, the thing that I think is really successful in the layering. Yeah. Um, and this is the same thing with Fez, too, with the 3D rotation. What it does is it changes the perception of the game. It allows you to hide things sort of in plain sight and presents the world in a different way based on what layer you're on. Um... So I think that's actually really interesting. I yeah, think that's, no, I totally agree with you. Yeah, from a from a level design standpoint, there's so much you can do with that that I think it's actually a great idea. That's where it starts. Oh, yes, there. just past that gate. That's where it all fucking starts. So then I guess the follow-up question to that point, though, is, I guess, and maybe we can make this the question of the day later on, too. Yeah. Um, but... Do you think that the layering is used to its fullest potential? It seems like they kind of rehash a lot of the same kind of challenges over with the layering. Over. Now, I thought what they do, though, instead... I don't know if it's just a rehash, though. I mean, yes, I think it's a rehash, but they add a, le a level of difficulty to it. Yes, they, they do tend to change, up, change they, it up at least a little bit. They you want to cry. I mean, even the last level was a good example of that, where they suddenly present a new kind of platform they that kind of moves me cry along the with last you. Level. They did. They did. Good on you guys making me cry. Um, so, uh, in, is, in that uh, sense, I think that's good game design flow because yes. then that means that the challenge is naturally progressing with yes. the player. Um, and that's good. That's important. Now, what I have a problem with, uh, we've talked about it already, is the transparency. Like, when you're, when you're walking through something, you can't tell where it's ending because you have mm -hmm. that big block in your way. And you're like, oh, I think I'm good here. And then you try and go. And, and it, it blocks you because... fall off the end of the stage. I'm saying, yeah. like, you know, because there's, like, the building in front of you. Oh, and you can't see what's behind From the previous layer, you. right. And that's why I think it's important that the death mechanic w is so spot on with where it respawns you. Yes. Um, because if it didn't have that, then the game would just feel unfair. Just okay. absolutely. So I think this might be a good point to stop before we, uh... Before we get to this next part, because this next part is going... Okay, so... <laughs> to drive me bananas. So like, absolutely... Right bonkers this took me a while guys you're probably laughing at me saying oh this is so easy it's not easy for me i'm not a good platform player 
So get ready for some tears in the next episode. So question of the day then. Let's let's stick with, with yeah, what I presented do, earlier. Yeah, do that. Do you think that the uh, the layering mechanic is used to its fullest potential in terms of level design? Yeah. And if not, what would you have done? Yeah. Sounds good, man. I like that. Cool. Well, thank you everybody for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Game, game, game. Game, game, game. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Game, game, game. Game, game, game. <laughs> We're playing games. Yay. Games. <laughs>